On October 7th, 1977, 17-year-old Brenda Evans went on her lunch break from work at the post office. Every day, Brenda would walk to her aunt and uncle's for lunch and then return to work. However, concern was raised when Brenda didn't return to work. Brenda's body was found in a manhole next to the property. She'd been strangled with her tights, which were still around her neck. She'd been physically and sexually assaulted and had sustained injuries to her throat and wrist, done by a sharp object. Her body was discovered several days later. Several individuals were questioned on her murder, but all released. Who killed Brenda Evans? Will they ever be caught, or will her murder be unsolved forever? some creepy stuff in here. Why is it just a pitchfork? It is so weird. Hello. This is so weird to be in here. After everything that's happened. It really is. Mold growing in there. There's some mold. There's random garden utensils and weapons dotted about as well, isn't there? Just quite a bit. Oh god. Jesus. Sadly, it has been trashed by some heartless, heartless people. Bless her, honestly. Such a gut wrenching story. It really is. That is creepy. Reminds me of American Horror Story when um, people used to, when people came through the mattress. If you guys have ever seen that. But this was. Is this where she lived? What is this? Um, oh, paying council tax. Hmm? Someone's been, um, they've sent him a council tax letter in 2021 to say you've not been paying it. Look at the roof. Has that gone through then with time, this up here? Yes, sir. This here, do you think this has gone with time or do you think someone pulled it down for wiring? No, over time, so it's um, yeah. in this room as well. So many spans been trashed and vandalised a bit though, hasn't it? Oh, this is creepy, I don't like this. I don't like this, this is weird. Uh, can't tell if that's shit or just sewage water. Shit, four grand. Four grand what? Council tax. Yeah. Jesus, that's rough. God. <laughs> this is it's so. See, it's very outdated and very old-fashioned because this is what it used to be like. I can't quite believe this. Wow. Just checking all the cabinets. This is weird. This is so creepy. Oh God. <laughs> I'm hearing things. Oh wow. Oh my God, there's a piano. Oh, it's been ripped out. Oh, that's very sad. Yeah, it has all been ripped out, look. That's awful. I think someone's just done that, but look. It has come through with time, this in here. This is what I mean, the roof has absolutely fallen to bits and then look over here. Beautiful fake flowers. In a teacup, absolutely pristine, not damaged. But yeah, a lot of this has come through due to natural decay. Due to how long this has been left here. It is mad how this is all just left out as if someone is literally just upped and left. Like they were literally just going out, coming back. We're gonna have a nice tea, gonna have a nice dinner. And it's crazy how things change. And that were her shoes. That's really disturbing. Her shoes are in here, Don. What? Her shoes are in here. That's quiet. It gives you a weird feeling in the air. Very weird feeling. It's like just crazy to think, literally just going out, just gonna work. You won't think any different. And then it's crazy how all things change. And what happened to her were very, very upsetting. Not only upsetting to the world, but for the community, I think, as well, because it is very, very surprising for something to like that happen back in that time. That fireplace is absolutely stunning. Oh, it's just so creepy like this. The 
cobwebs all over the window. I think I've been in here. I heard a noise. God, I heard a noise then. God, down. Just a lot of pitchforks and a lot of creepy stuff in here. I think it's not even creepy, they're just everyday ordinary objects, but because of what's happened here, it, um, it puts you on edge and it makes you like think things, it makes you just question everything around and it makes you kind of sit here and just go, shit. Get out of the kitchen! Shut up! <laughs> I'm already yeah. spooked as it is. You know what that is? What? You've got until I get round to work it out what it is. A can opener. Oh, she's a good one. Yes. But it's just natural decay as well, isn't it? But unfortunately some of the bits have been trashed and vandalised, which absolutely sucks ass that people would do that. But definitely maybe paranormal here at some point. But I just I don't know, it feels eerie. It doesn't it doesn't feel right. It there's one of them explores where it don't feel right. What's this? I'm just glad you went down and got a bit of paper. What is it, sir? 24th February 99. Wow. It's just it's hard to explain. Like the paranormal stuff, like I'm I'm on the edge with it, but like when you come into places like this, it just Yeah, I don't know, it's just a weird vibe. There's just a weird vibe here. I don't know if you're getting it. I'm getting a little bit of a strange vibe, but it's just all I'm, the stuff I'm getting I've a strange been here. vibe. The Ampate Council <laughs> takes <laughs> He's a council tax man, he's coming. Yeah, but I'm gonna think 2021, so they're chasing that for what, like 15 years ago? At what and point would they chasing... come around though? I think they're still trying to be possessed from this place, you know? Yeah, why would they? It's decaying and <laughs> falling to bits. We're having this to not know. <laughs> Do you know, they probably repossess all of this. Why haven't they though? Maybe, I don't know, maybe, who would want to there's live four, in a house like this? There's four grand on that letter. Do you think anything in this house amounts no. to near four grand? But why would, you've got to think trying to get someone else to move into it. Who would want to live here? A bungalow and all the new builds outside. But what as point? well, the history, who would want to live here? You'd feel weird, do you know what I mean? Unless some paranormal people lived here. You wouldn't want to live here. It's got too much stuff behind it. It's so weird. Oh, look at these. Jasmine tea, Qingwo China tea. Did it look at Chinese and Oriental tea? And just weird, weird stuff. But there is a lot of um, garden utensils. No, oh my god, fucking did you see that? No. Did you not see that? I hope that was out of pressure. That was horrible. It is not the ghost of the woman who was out here. Mr. Musclefoam. God, that was awful. I absolutely pooed my pants. I just saw that open and I thought, oh, it's one of them ones, you know, like in horror movies she where you need to back. go in there because something's in there. No, it's where you discover something. What's this? Oh, convert to Celsius. How to... The oven temperature. I oh, should convert it and stuff. That's sick. Moving to 3.99% when you move into an oil. I think I got mine at 6.5. Bargain. <laughs> Dawn. Oh, look. Weight Watchers, new quick... Weight Watchers, we've got a long time then, haven't we? What's the makeup and hair like? Use green colour corrector base first if you have a high colour light jelly. Oh, wow. Do not pay attention to eyebrows to give them a nice shape and softer look. It was eyebrow powder. Don't put makeup on with your fingers. Do use an oily-free makeup. <laughs> okay. Sick. We learnt, we learnt some things. This is what it was like back in the day. She's got the London look. <laughs> Does it, oh, is there any more? Central locking. 5,900. That's a good price. That's High a good speed price. gearbox on a. What is it? I don't know, what is a it? Visa set. I'll tear out a Vita. Oh god, that rake is just terrifying. I don't know. Oh god. Oh, it's pretty clean. Pretty clean inside. I hope. But. But you don't even know where he is, do you? No. Tony Blair is our Prime Minister. Oh, old, oh. old, old Prime Minister. I know Minister. his name, but I don't know what he looks like. We never really learnt like, that kind of stuff in school. We learnt about everyone else's presidents and Prime Ministers too before busy, we too did. Too busy learning how to do a TikTok. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were too busy doing loom bands and washing monsters. Playing with Club Penguin. Oh, God. <gasps> Stop. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Bloody rake. You're getting raked. Oh, I thought they were them tools from that photo, but they've oh. definitely been stolen then. 
But it's just creepy the amount of like garden utensils just dotted about. It's so weird and it yeah. makes me feel so uncomfortable. So if someone came in right now, we're done. I'm sure I found a garden and there's loads of garden utensils. All inside. I know, it's quite... Don't it makes touch you feel any. a bit weird. Yeah, don't. I mean, you know what? I'm near just... 99p! And it's full. What the hell? Probably won't do your clothes any good. No. But... Hoover? Well, that's how they used to do Hoover, isn't that's, it? That's what Hoover's used to look like back in day, love. <laughs> back in day. You just used to go, clean this room. And then you'd use that. And then, then it'd set off on itself. That's weird. Oh, look! Look, it's one of the Hoovers. My grandma has one of them and she has it for decoration inside of her house. But she doesn't actually use it's not it. An over. It's, Isn't a it? it's a magic broom. It's a over. That's nice. <laughs> it's a very pretty design. I feel like the arse has been sold like a bad job though. So that can move on its end. If it can move that canal. <laughs> that is that is I'm telling my boss about that because it's moving a canal. We That's know, not okay. It. Clive Mayer, we are coming for you. <laughs> yeah, so we're outside on the grounds now and this is where she was found and it is it's, it, I don't know, I've been watching like murder podcasts, crime, I've always been something I've been interested in. Um, kind of learning the evils behind people, why people turn like this and the fact we're walking on the grounds right now where this happened. Like, I don't know if you can see behind me, it's absolutely raining right now. But we're outside, we're outside the bungalow. We've got all these bushes down here, I'll take you. And it was in here that she was found. I can't, I can't imagine the amount of like, how the other person must have been feeling who found her, but it's honestly my, my chest and like my heart and everything just feels really tight at the minute. Um, it's definitely, it's the weirdest place I've ever explored so far. It definitely is and honestly it's such, it's such a horrific story to listen to and it's so saddening, but yeah, it's definitely an eye opener but may she rest in peace i hope all her family are doing okay um god it is it's so so weird so weird what i'm feeling right now but yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you subscribe to explore more as well who's our professional lighting guy tonight no, I mean it. it's gonna ask up. yeah it's now gonna ask up, but yeah i'll see you all very very soon